Okay, so this is Ray's head, and we are learning last lesson. And today we are practice are sharing the white crane spreads we. So the new year is raise hand to start work. The white crane, it is mean you are start to fly. Okay. So last Friday, I've been invited to the Wuhan Sports University. Yeah. So the Wuhan Sports University and uh, I, I have a lecture at the university and uh, Wuhan University, the sports university is very famous, the sports university of China. And Lang Lang Up is number two, yeah, is the least in number two of China. So it is very famous. And uh, of course, the participants, now the students, they are almost is practice the modern Tai Chi. So that's why the university, they are invite me go to a lecture of authentic Tai Chi. Yeah. And face to the young people. Uh, so in the next time, I have some photos in my WeChat group, okay? which a friend group. So Isabella, you can have a look if you can download, also can show the, the Tai Chi friends, some photos, uh, I'm in Wuhan. So I especially explain to them the white crane. Okay, our authentic, the young style, the white crane spreads wing, the movement is like this. This is white crane. Spread the wind. And you can see the picture now beside me. And that was very similar movement is arms open. But that movement is a step back to retreat on back of the time. So this is a totally different movement and different use. Okay. So that movement and the white crane spreads wing is totally different use. And the modern Tai Chi now, the white crane spreads wing is what? It's like that. So you can see the modern white crane, and this is all the white crane. Why the difference? Because also, we have to look the principle of Tai Chi, especially the young style Tai Chi. The principle is open, relax. Okay, so young style Tai Chi is open, formalized, and uh, is very uh, comfortable. It's not a very awkward movement, you know. Is open, very comfortable movement. But the principle is like that. So people thinking, why the friend spreads wing? Yeah, I am open. I'm relaxed. Nothing wrong. Why I'm wrong? I'm not wrong. You say you are authentic, why the friend like that? But I think that this is okay. Why? Is a big difference. And because when we are practice, the Tai Chi originally come from martial art. This you have to be understand. Tai Chi is a wusu, it's Chinese martial art. Okay? So when the martial art, every movement, they have a reason why. So this movement, the white crane spread the wing. The hand, you must be located in front of your forehead. Where's your forehead? Okay, here. If you put there and the palms in, this is a simplified style Tai Chi like this. But Yang style is palms out and above your forehead. 
Okay, so why is bar above your forehead? It's very important. Is protecting your head. Is a kind of a block. This is a block, and the enemy is a come from the front of you. Okay, so I have to block. So this movement is up and down movement. Look, you can see this is up and down stretch movement. But the stretch is your back and arms is not your what is not your body. Your body is dropped, and your arms is a stretch. So this is a block, and somebody punch you or hit you with a stick. So this is the block. But if you're doing the movements like a step back to retreat on back of the tiger, when you do the movements, while the crane spreads the wing, yeah, you feel it, it's like a dance, it looks good, looks nice. I like it. Why not? It's a beautiful movement. But what's the meaning? Where it come from? Why are you doing this? What's the benefit? No answer. We have a similar movement, very nice. Step back to retreat the back of tiger. Same. But they have a meaning. So step back to retreat back of tiger, this movement, the enemy is from the side. The enemy is from the side, from here. Okay. So I separate and push. So this movement is the side movement, is the side movement. It's not front. So it's a protecting the front, protecting the side. But if you're doing the modern style, okay. What's this for? You block away. No way. It's only nice. So I will not say the modern Tai Chi is no good, okay? But it is. It is more for performance, really. And especially if you are learning the authentic way, the block. So Actually, your arms doing a uh, lot of works. Okay, the silk rolling your forearms, your shoulders. But if you're doing that, yeah, it is your shoulder, it is works. But your silk rolling, no. You only put the movement. But we are, if you're doing a correct movement, then you are. Look, my palms work. Especially my forearms from here. Look, my palm, palms in and arms out. So when we are doing these movements, our silk rolling, it is very clear movements we are doing. Okay. So it's not only Put the movement. And also, it is keeps waste, all have to work. And the plus, very important, I say, stretch. So, this movement is a down movement. Hand up, body down. Hand up, body down. This is a stretch, the white crane. But the step back to retreat on the back of tiger, this movement is open movement. Open where? It's not open up and down. It's open left and right. So Tai Chi is wonderful. They give you whole bodies exercise. 
is not the only one side. They give you there. Also give you left, right. So this is like <laughs> this is my God, Jesus. <laughs> yes. So really, it's so smart. Our masters, the grandmaster, the the founder, you know. So I'm in the university. I have a lecture of the 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 class of this. So now the people, students, they are practicing. Okay, they do have exercise, but this is what kind of exercise? It's no much details, the meanings, but we are look is from the harmony and stretch, from the center stretch. So this is a difference. So the body really, it is very clear why you're doing this. So, okay, dear my Haiti friends, I wish you to understand, it's just now I'm doing explaining, okay? So the white cream, this movement, it must be above your forehead. And from the side, you have a look. Okay. It's not, it's not. So your upper hand and the lower hand is in the same line. And very important to your knee and your toe should be on the line, okay? Not go in. There will damage your knee. Why the grass press? Okay, so this is a sitting movement. All right. Now, let me explain the movements. The movements, when we are starting from, raise hand. Have a look, my lower body, especially up lower body. One, two, at the same place. Yeah, we start here and just lift up. One, two, same place, but different angle of your pole. Okay. So 45 degrees now. And shifting your body weight. And try to get your right muscle is solid. Okay. Now, three, lift up your left knee. Lift up, lift up. And then gently put down your top. And make sure your minimum is full. Your hips, your growing is down and going in. Your tailbone, I mean your tailbone have to go in. It's not like that. Okay, let's go down. One, two, three, four. This is your foot move. From the side, one, two, 
Keep your body weight. Three. It is, looks easy, what I'm doing. But many people, they will make a little bit of a mistake. Is they are not lift up the knee. They are lift up the foot. <clears throat> so this is almost people's mistake that we make. From the side, you can see very clear. What is lift up the knee? And what is lift up the foot? Okay. One. This is a lift up the knee. Yeah. And the what is lift up the foot? Many people. This is lift up the foot. This is lift up knee. Lift up knee. Lift up knee. All right. <clears throat> the second mistake is when they're put down, the knee is not pointing to the top. Okay, must be. And three again, you some people like this. No. Lift up your knee in front of your body. Look, front. Front. And when your knees up, you try to sink your body. To sink your body. So your body is more dropped, your knees up. It's going works together and then put down. So this is the foot movement. Up and down, up and down. Looks very easy. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. The hand movement. Okay. If for the beginners, I will be make it difficult. So it just open and close. The foot is up and down, up and down. So the easy movement, if you do, is open, close, then open. So if I teach in the beginners, I will be one holding a ball. Two step on shifting the ball. And three lift up the knee. Open the arms. So this is very simple way to get the new beginner student to understand how these movements work. The position. But if you are advanced, and this movement actually it is quite difficult. So you need to understand the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint. Okay. Excuse me, just a moment. And make sure you can see more clear of my arms and the wrist when we're doing this move. Okay, so left foot. This is the left foot. Oh my God! Now I am the pig. Left foot, right foot. <laughs> left palm, left hand, and the right hand. Okay. Yeah. So when you do this movement. First, the power point is here. Okay, end of your palm in this area when I'm pointing. This is a power point. 
And also, the other side is here. So always about the wrist, both sides. Yeah. This side or that side. So you will have a little bit muscle here around this area. A little bit muscles here also. Yeah. Okay. So start from raise hand. Your left hand is do clockwise. And your right hand, again, it is follow, is clockwise. Okay, now, open and close. Open, drop, open, drop, and close. Okay, from here, now, open. So your right palm have to follow your, oh, your left palm, okay? Your left palm have to follow your right forearms, okay? And the, go to the palm, go past. Then open up down. Okay, I turn my side. You have a look. Okay. Why the credit spreads? One, two, three, four, okay, right. Go more close, you can see my hands. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So, so I put the movements together leg and foot face to you raise hand okay one two three From the back. One. Two. Three. From the side. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, OK. 
Okay. Thank you. Thank you.